it like this. You happy, man? How you feel? Nervous, man. Nervous? Yeah, you got a good reason to be nervous. Today we're doing a video for It's Going Down, which is a track that Joe and I were lucky enough to collaborate with the uh, executioners on. Face conditioning for Planet of the Apes for Rob Swift. Uh, so Rob, how you feel, man, getting um, blushed up right now? You're like Prince. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty much like pioneers in DJing, as turntables have been developing. They're like one of the original crews that came up. It's a great honor to like work with them because because I have to respect them so much. This is not the average video, you know what I'm saying? The peppers, the eggs, the wraps. You got uh, bagels, juices, politics. I love these guys. I think they're just really talented guys. They do something with scratching that very few people can do. I was talking to Rita about the history behind his career. A lot of people don't know this, and especially I feel bad, in, in fact, for interviewers that don't know, he's a really humble guy, and he won't talk to people about the things that he's accomplished because he's that humble. He's invented certain styles of scratching, and people imitate that now, you know, and it's, a, it's some of the things that he's done in the past, I mean, they just become a part of what DJs do, and I think that's true for all of these guys. We're the best, we're the best. We're the very strong. Executionist. Before we heard the CD, I had no clue who Lincoln Park was, but we fell in love with, like, every song. And Sean C came through one of our sessions with Hybrid Theory and we were working on an album. He let us know that, that they were looking for people to collaborate with. They already knew who we were, we were fans and stuff, so it was like a no-brainer. Like, we were like, yo, let's do it. This is a journey into sound. A lot of DJs, they, they make music and it's like the same thing. We want our audience to be larger than just other DJs. We want people that are into rock, all kinds of music to, to like and appreciate what we do. We want our mamas to love it. <laughs> See what this is all about? It used to be this, now it's this. The fist of metal. Everything's hybrid now. There's very few like true like metal bands or you know true rap bands. Everything is just all a big pot of crap just stirred up and then the good stuff rises to the top, you know. Basically, how much fun is this? Musical expression, what is it on? It's just a matter of like staying open-minded and not being afraid to try different things, work with different type of artists. We're just about the music. Uh, this being your first video, uh... reluctantly. Yeah. Not my first video. I did. A, I did a film in junior high school. That no one's seen. <laughs> you did a snuff film. A snuff film. One of the things that I really like about today's video is that these days it's either girls in bikinis or dudes whipping, you know, the most expensive car. But today it's just some some straight sound check. Us just getting busy in the park. The video is about love, whatever, chaos, hope and despair. The location was the Park Plaza Hotel, this old ballroom that was built in the 30s. The cool thing about it was we heard that Welcome to the Jungle was actually filmed at that same location. This is a stage for It's Going Down. Executioners featuring Lincoln Park. It's a sound check where the guys from Lincoln Park are going to be in. Executioners come into their sound check, see what's going on, join them on stage up here, and come back in from the door over there. We're going to shoot the intro and the exit of the video. We actually don't shoot the video chronologically. Camera start to move. You're on the move. At your own pace, however you want to do it. We just land here as a trio. We're just going to be looking at the band, scoping the whole scenery out, and then we're going to walk up closer to this spot here. It's going to be dope, man. I can't wait to see the video. Camera's rolling.
the challenge is being on stage and directing at the same time, but uh, you know, I could pull it off. So is this what you guys do on videos all day, just play video games? This is the level that the executioners have reached. <laughs> we, we've never done this on a video yeah, before. Yeah. Like, all of our cool videos, things, yeah. all of our videos, it's like we work, these guys, this is the life. I think oh, we should man. do all our videos. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have a PlayStation in your videos. Back to work, man. video is going to be one one shot. It's going to be very seamless. And what we're doing here today is giving the uh, illusion, if you will, that this is one continuous take, when in fact, it's many different uh, camera setups and take. We match things up so that when you cut out of one camera, it starts the same image in the other camera. Hey, you know, it's all a bunch of crap, actually. I don't do anything. I just like sitting in this chair looking important, pointing at the monitor. Hi, my name is Mike. Uh, this is my first time being in a video. I'm, I'm what they call the white. So when you're transitioning in between scenes, I walk across the screen. I'll, I'll let me demonstrate. Stay right there. That's what I do. The most controlled camera is a big camera that's built into a computer where you can program the precise measurements of the mix according to the music. So you can program it to do a certain thing, and if you want it to do the same exact thing again, it'll do the same exact thing. We're slowing the audio down so it moves faster, which means you're going to move faster when the time corrects. So it kind of like lags a little bit. Seafood? Just, you can give me some seafood. Seafood? A whole big pizza. <laughs> That's for me. Right there. Cheese. Um, no, we've been here like since 9 in the morning. What time is it now? It's going on 9. 12 hours. Standing up, doing stuff over. And over. And over. And over again. Oh, man. I feel like I've been here forever. I think video just really bridges a lot of gaps and meshes different genres of people, music. We got every DJ who's anybody in the house tonight. All the LA folks came out to uh, kind of parlay and represent for these guys. Executioners. So we're all out here doing our thing. Are you enjoying playing the drums silently? Yeah. <laughs> we got some famous people here. Exhibit was just here. <laughs> oh my god, that's Exhibit. That's uh, <laughs> so cool. Label uh, mates, executioners, X to the Z, making part. Uh, got static X up in here. Exactly. A lot of X's up in this piece right <laughs> now. I'm here to make Mike look good. <laughs> I'm gonna stand, stand behind him while he's doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got skateboarders next to rockers, next to DJs, next to rock artists. I was really nervous about my role in the video today. Uh, I actually didn't sleep last night, but I think it went well. I really think I stepped it up and uh, came to play today. Peace out to for, you know, all the people that support us. It was like Shaquille O'Neal shit. just about creating music in your bedroom. You gotta, you know, figure out a way to visually present it. Now this whole video thing today will make it part of, puts us on a whole new visual level. It just feels good to start an album, like get a budget for an album, complete the album, do the video. We never doubted ourselves that getting to this point was impossible. We knew that if we kept it up, the doors would open, and today's, you know, proof of that.